Okay, when considering unions, I think it's important to factor in context. So, in my time teaching in the UK, I've been a member of a union, and I've not been a member of a union. And I guess what really inspired me to become a member of a union was, and it's a bit of a shame to say it, is a bit for my own protection. I've always worked in schools in low socioeconomic contexts. I've always worked in secondary schools where there's lots of hormones and things like that running about. And I think in difficult teaching environments, uh, a lot of things can get misconstrued or misinterpreted. And you really need that union to have your back. Um, also, uh, in terms of my friends that teach in similar environments, you know, they primarily uh, join a union for the same reason, really. But also, um, they're quite worried about management and restructurings in schools and I know there's a big pickup in the union membership uh, during the recession and the credit crisis. People, I know teachers were very afraid they were going to lose their jobs or have their salaries cut and things like that and therefore you know, the union serves that purpose. But uh, most importantly, uh, I think you know, unions, while they do serve their purpose, can be very counterproductive. I think there's lots of really bad teachers out there that hide behind their union credentials. Um, but for me, I do think the union is there. I think it does have my back in a legal battle. I think, however, I don't get very much else from the unions in terms of professional development or anything. Just a couple mailings a year, which are usually filled with insignificant information. But I do think unions are important.